Okay, here's a little video to help you get started with the uh, circuit construction kit on FET. So here's the, the page you'll end up when you follow the link that I gave you. You'll click on the center icon, it'll open up the simulation. And then you want to go over to where it says lab and you'll double click it. And now I've got my screen all ready to go. So let's talk a little bit about how to build a circuit. I'll make a circuit with a battery, a resistor, and a light bulb. So I'll take it with the battery and I'll drag it out onto the screen. And then I'll think of a light bulb, and I'll drag it kind of right here, and then I'll draw a resistor next to it. Now these little circles, I can grab them and kind of wiggle around my stuff if I want to. Now I need to connect all this, so I'll connect it all. I'll start with a switch, so this will be able to turn things on and off. And you see I'll just drag it over, and I'll drag the wire onto the screen. I'll connect it to the red circle, and then go down, and I'm going to make this look kind of neat. So I'll grab this other wire and connect it to the circles, go over, so now it connects to the switch, and then I'll grab the wire, connect the circles, and then grab the other circle and bring it over to the light bulb. Um, again, I'll make it look a little bit neat. Grab a wire, go down to the battery, and I got a bit of a problem here. So, I, you know, how am I going to get rid of this wire? Well, I'll click on the wire, in fact, I double clicked actually, and I can click on the trash can or I can press the delete button on my keyboard. Now move the battery back down. Let's try this again. Drag the wire over on the battery and then up to the side of the light bulb. There we go. Hey, that work looks really nice. When I close the circuit by clicking on the switch, click, I can see the charge is moving, so everything's going just fine. Now if I want to, I can change the value of something like the battery. I can click on the battery. See down below, I can switch the direction of the battery or I can change the voltage in the battery. And if I want to click the value of the resistor, I could click that. So I can change the value of just about anything just by clicking on it. And then some kind of system will pop up where I can change the values. And then close the switch and see it work. Now to measure voltages, uh, let's say I want to find a voltage. A voltage, remember, we talk about a potential difference. And that occurs across a capacitor or across a resistor or across any component. So I can take this little guy on the right-hand side. It's a voltmeter. And I can put it on the screen. And I'll take a little black probe and go to one side of the device and the other. So remember how we measure voltage difference from one side of a resistor to the other, or from one side of a capacitor to the other. That's what I'm doing here. Oh, I don't get anything. i got to turn the switch on. There we go. So now this is telling me 7.8 volts from the left side to the right side of the resistor. I can do the same thing for the light bulb. I can drag it over here. I can drag that. So voltage is measured across an element that's on the screen not through it, but across an element. Okay, so that's all good. I'll take the voltmeter and I'll put it away in my little box over here. I can do a volt chart so I can see what happens to it over time. That's part of what we'll do. So I can do the resistor. I'll put the chart on the screen. I'll drag one lead on one end of my component, the other on the other end. And right now I can see that the voltage doesn't change over time. Now for stuff we're doing with capacitors, you'll see that's not the case. All right, I'll take my little chart and I'll put it back in the box. There we go. To measure the current, I can use my little current meter here. And current goes through something. So it, it only has one probe, and it's measuring the flow of charges going through it. So that's what that's doing. And the nice thing is I can move this around and see the flow going through it anywhere I want to to measure the current. And I can put it back in the box to label it away. All right, so you can see I can pull things out. I can pull capacitors out. I can pull all kinds of things out to make my circuit. And to get rid of something, I can click on it to get the box and hit the trash can, or I can hit the delete key on my keyboard. All set. Simple, to, easy to use.